this Tangerine Quarantine video where I'm going to be showing you how to make the most effective paper airplanes, like this one here. Okay, for the first paper airplane, this is probably the simplest one, but it is just as effective as the other ones. First off, you need to fold it two thirds of the way down. So that's just a little over half. Make sure it's firmly pushed down. And then you need to fold that bit you just folded in half again. And finally, fold it once again in half. Now you should have a thick piece of paper at the top and a thin piece of paper at the bottom. Now for the hardest bit, you're going to need to round the paper into a cylinder shape. And then slot it in here. You might need some tape just to keep it in place. Once you've rounded it into a cylinder that you're happy with, that is basically it. As I said, it's one of the simpler ones, but it flies just as well. In a moment, uh, I'll show you how well it flies outside. Okay, so now this second one might be a bit harder, but as long as you follow the instructions carefully, uh, maybe pause the video to make sure you keep up, uh, you should come out and you should get the outcome. First off, you're going to need to fold your paper aeroplane in half, making sure that the corners meet. Making sure that it's been flattened down enough. Then you need to unfold it and fold it in the opposite direction down the seam. So after that you should come out with your paper folded in half. Now you need to unfold it again and with the with it with the paper pointing upwards like that you need to fold in these corners on the seam making sure that they are the same length on both sides. So it should look like that in the end. Next, you need to fold these corners again. So that it's more like the paper airplanes you're used to making. So it should look like that. Now, for a slightly more difficult bit, you need to take the tip, fold it back until it is in, in line 
with the back of the paper and fold it down. Like that. Now that you have your uh, your part folded in, you want to use the seam that you made earlier to fold it in half. Making sure to flatten all the seams. So that it looks like that. Now you want to fold uh, the small tips here inwards just slightly like this and then you turn it over do the same on the other side making sure to press down lots so that it stays folded and so that in the end it looks like that and now you fold it back out and you should have this almost curved shape. Now you need to fold this out, creating the seam where this piece of paper reaches the bit that you just folded in here. So it should look like that. Now, on this side, you fold it in half, making sure to flatten all the edges. So it looks like that. Now, for a tricky bit again, you're going to want to Fold the wing down. Almost at the um, at the tip, but not quite, just a bit off. Fold it down and create the seam. Do the same on the other side, making sure that you do it in the same place so that the wings uh, are even. It should come out looking something like that. Now, you want to open it back up just for a second, just so that you can see the bottom, and you want to fold it. It doesn't matter which side you do it on. Just adds weight to the back. Just fold this bit up. And then you can fold the wings back down. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to take the wings and fold them to create this sort of shape. That on both side sides try and make it as even as possible now you want to take the bit that you folded to the side and just push it up this is probably the most fiddly part Fasten it down so that it looks like this at the top. And there you have it, your paper, your harder paper aeroplane. Now that you have your two paper aeroplanes, one easier, one harder, let's go see how they fly. Okay, so now we've got our two paper aeroplanes. Let's test them out. 
it's quite windy, so it might not work perfectly, but first one. Wow, see how far that went? Okay, so now we've got the second harder one. Let's see how it flies. Wow, got stopped by the tree. Okay guys, I hope after that you've come out with two awesome paper airplanes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.